What is up everybody, it's your favorite American YouTuber, James Bray, and we're back at it again with another big body banger. Today, we're gonna actually be checking out how to use the public transportation in Germany. I've never been to Germany, it's always been my dream for at least the last two years to travel to Germany and see what it has in store, especially since I've gotten incredibly close with that community. Um, I've just been thoroughly fascinated. I've been teaching myself German. Um, I've been learning about the culture. I've been speaking to you guys in Discord and things of that nature. So a lot of this channel is me and my journey, diving as deep as I possibly can into the culture until I learn every little nook and cranny of what there is to know about Germany. Um, if you guys are new to the channel, welcome. If you guys are returning viewers, welcome back. We post videos literally every single day. Um, so I guess stick along and, and tag along on this journey of me trying to to master German, learn as much as I can, and of course, uh, you know, give you slices of my life behind the scenes um, and whatever. So let's go ahead and check this thing out. This is by uh, Rue Boss. He is absolutely amazing. Go ahead and subscribe to his channel. I will link the uh, link to the original video in the description down below, as always. And let's not waste any time. Let's go, Los Gates. Berlin is the capital of Germany and its biggest city as well, and it's very definitely well worth a visit. I made a video about it a few years ago, and it lasts a, a full hour. Oh, wow. But so many of the attractions are spread out over such a wide area, but you're simply not going to get the most out of it by walking. Makes sense. Driving in an unfamiliar city can be a nightmare, so realistically you're going to be using public transport. Absolutely. So I'm actually from Chicago. So you know what I'm saying? Like it's uh, taking public transportation was something that I did my entire life and up until I became an adult. And then I eventually had to get a car. So um, me driving, I haven't really been driving for that long, a few years, but not as long as most people. And um, I honestly never wanted a car. If it was up to me, I would not have a car now. I would be taking public transportation everywhere. But unfortunately, the location that I'm at now doesn't have very good public transportation. So I want to see how uh, Germany's public transportation differs from, or at least in, in this case, Berlin specifically, transportation difference differs from, uh, you know, Chicago, New York's transportation system. It can't be that different, but this will be interesting. Let's see. This then is my guide to Berlin's public transport and how to use it. Fortunately, the system is a lot simpler than it looks at first sight and nice. is usually fairly efficient. Although I have to say that at least at the height of the tourist season, it can get quite full. Nice. The most important modes of public transport are bus, tram, U-Bahn, S-Bahn and local commuter. U-Bahn and S-Bahn. I wonder what the difference between these two are. That's what I, because I kept seeing these on the map on GeoGuessr. I don't know the difference between the U-Bahn and the S-Bahn um, and the Regional Bahn, Regional Express. Okay, I don't know the difference between these three. The bus and the tram, I have a good idea, but these three, I can't wait till he explains those, man. And honestly, for everybody watching, how many of you guys have taken these before? Do all of you guys take these? Do some of you guys take these? I'm very curious. I mean, do you prefer to drive? Do you prefer public transportation? Um, I've heard rumors that the transportation system isn't very timely, but that's kind of what you, what you expect. Taking public transportation, things happen all the time that you know we can't control. So uh, what's your preference? Let me know in the comments down below. To trains. Buses can be single-decker or double-decker and serve even the most remote parts of Berlin. Mm -hmm. Trams serve mostly former East Berlin. Bus and tram stops are identified by signs like these. Uh. This sign indicates a bus stop for night services only. Mm. This stop is temporarily out of service. This is a temporary stop. And this is a stop for a rail replacement bus. The mm. U-Bahn is a metro system that normally runs below ground, but sometimes runs above ground. Ah, so it's a subway, kind of. It is a subway. It mostly serves central and western parts of Berlin, and stations are where you see signs like these. Ah, uh, yeah. The S-Bahn is a mass transit rail system that normally runs above ground, but sometimes runs below ground. They're the same thing then. They are the same thing, essentially, right? It connects central Berlin with outer districts and oh, suburbs. Oh, it travels further. Okay, that's what it is. So central, it, it, it connects central Berlin to the outskirts of Berlin, which makes a lot a lot of sense. Like the U-Bahn is very like 
inner city, the S-Bahn allows you to travel to those outer city limits. That makes sense. And stations are indicated with this logo. Mm, the most important sense. bus and tram services are designated Metro. Metro. They run throughout the day at least once every 10 minutes and about every half hour during the night. Nice. They have numbers beginning with the letter M. Buses with numbers beginning with X are limited stop express services, so make sure that it actually does stop where you want it to. There's also the express bus service from central Berlin to Tegel Airport, which mm. has the designation TXL. Night bus mm. and tram services have numbers beginning with N. In all other cases, trams have double digit numbers, buses have three digit numbers. Oh, that's actually pretty interesting. Didn't know that, but I think that's something I'll keep in mind for sure, because I'm gonna be traveling a lot and I wanna be able to make sure that I master this. Like, I'm pretty sure I'll bump into a lot of you guys out there in Germany when I eventually travel out there because I'm trying to plan that trip for this year, but there's a lot of technicalities I have to get knocked out before I can go. Um, one big thing is getting my, my travel approved by my boss, but that's a story for another time. But yeah, this, this will be interesting, very interesting. On buses, the rule is that you board at the front. If you need to buy a ticket from the driver, you keep to the right. If you already have a ticket, you keep to the left and okay. show your ticket to the driver as you file past. Makes sense. If you have a baby buggy or are in a wheelchair, you should normally board at the middle of the bus. As interesting uh that's what's different right so you board at the front of the bus but you want to file into the back i'm not sure if that's what you meant to say but I, like when you come into the bus like you file in from the back first obviously you can sit wherever you want but it's preferred that you start filling up the back of the bus all the way up to the front of the bus but like i said once you're on the bus you sit pretty much wherever you want as, as a rule buses sense. are wheelchair accessible but not all trams are some of them were built in czechoslovakia in the 1980s and refurbished in the 1990s and are still operating today mm. on buses and trams you push a button to signal to the driver that you want to get off at the next stop if nobody pushes a button and there is nobody waiting at the stop to get on the vehicle will simply not stop if it does stop but the doors nearest you don't open, simply push the nearest button. On the buses, you exit at any door except the front door. Mm. On trains, the doors don't open automatically. You have to push a button or in a few cases, pull a lever. Trams also have buttons on the outside to open the doors. Oh, okay. This map shows all the U-Bahn, S-Bahn and local this rail lines in very Berlin. very familiar. Like, this actually looks like uh, most train system like maps and stuff like that, no matter what country you go to. I was in Korea and their transportation map looked just like Chicago's, which looks just like Berlin's. Which I, 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 there, There's not very much difference from what I see here. Um, there's a few m minor differences, but I, I think so far, this is pretty straightforward. U-Bahn lines have numbers beginning with U, okay. S-Bahn lines have numbers beginning with S, and each line has its own color. Also, local rail lines have numbers beginning with RB or RE, and RE trains are limited stop. To find the right platform for your train, you need to know the line number and the name of the last stop in the direction that you're traveling. Compass directions are not used in Germany. Oh, sheesh. That is one big difference. That is one big difference. Why not? Why? Why? <laughs> I'm curious. That's actually, that's interesting. I don't know why that's, that's not a thing, but hey, different strokes for different folks. For example, if you're at Hallisches Tor and you want to get to Kurfürstendamm, you need to follow signs for the U1 and then find the platform for trains bound for Ulandstrasse. You know what's crazy? I'm pretty sure there is an application that plans your trip for you because in every major city, there's always an application that you can download on your phone and you type in where you want to go and where you're currently at and it routes it for you. So you know what stop to get off at, where to go, what happens if you know your train is delayed, it gives you a status, you know, and stuff like that. So there has to be something like that in Germany. I mean, Germany's pretty freaking advanced. So let me know in the comments down below if that's a thing. If you guys have an application on your phone that allows you guys to like, you know, um, kind of gauge when the train the transportation system is is arriving and whatnot because that's very important i feel like that's super important 
Buses and trams also use the same basic principle, the stop that you need is identified by line number and terminus. No. An exception to this is the S-Bahn Ring, which goes all the way around central Berlin and has no terminus. Instead, it has two numbers. Mm. The S41 goes clockwise and the S42 in the other direction. Ah. Sometimes to find your platform you may need to walk along another platform. Sure. For example, if you're looking for the U9 at Kurfürstendamm and you go down this entrance, you have to first walk the entire length of the U1 platform. Oh, U-Bahn and S-Bahn stations are not always connected to each other. For example, at Potsdamer Platz, even though the S-Bahn station and the U-Bahn station are right next to each other, mm -hmm. there is no connecting tunnel. Oh, shit. So you're going to have to walk out and like, ch literally change tunnels and stuff like that to get to the other station. I guess that is a little bit different. That is very different, actually. Because normally there's like a main hub that has all of the all of the transportation things that you, you pretty much need, um, for the most part, depending on what, on what city you go to. Like Chicago, we had a main hub, but... Um, and I'm pretty sure New York has something like that too. I'm not sh well, of course, Germany, it's not really like that, but that's interesting. What the heck? If you are changing to the U-Bahn and you follow the signs to this exit, you'll find the U-Bahn station very well hidden here. There are no ticket barriers at stations, but there are spot checks on the trains and they are very strict. Yes, they are. From what I heard, if you don't have your ticket, you need to kick it. You know what I'm saying? They don't play with that, man. They do not play with that. Not having ticket barriers does, of course, avoid bottlenecks, but it True. also makes it very easy to accidentally board a train without a valid ticket. True that. People just get on the train, and when the guy... There's been so many memes I've reacted to of people, like, trying to fake out of paying the train ticket thing, and I, I, <laughs> I'm like, oh, shit. That's when I learned. I'm like, oh, dang, like... How did you get on this train without a ticket? Like, what the heck? So, yes, while it does prevent bottlenecking and it's very straightforward, um, the flip side of that is you have a lot of people who could possibly be dishonest and just board the train without ever getting their ticket checked and just bumming free rides. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, interesting, interesting observation. That's definitely a big, big difference between um transportation in germany and transportation in america i don't know about y'all but out here we grimy so i mean we <laughs> we definitely there, there's there's no integrity here <laughs> we need those those turnstiles even though people still hop them all the time and don't pay we need them you know because if it was like a honor system and you hop on the train and like you know you just we, they just trust and that you have your ticket on you oh no there'd be so many people riding for free 99 and the city would the city would go crazy be very careful and make absolutely certain that you do have a valid ticket before you travel the tariff system is very simple there are three zones Zone A covers the area inside the S-Bahn ring, Zone B covers the rest of Berlin, mm -hmm. and Zone C covers surrounding towns and cities, uh, including Potsdam. Makes you can sense. buy tickets for all three areas or for two areas, A, B, or B, C. I did not know that. That's also different as well. There's normally like passes you can buy that just uh, that allow you, allow you to use every transport. So there's like two. There's Pace and there's... Uh, Chicago Metro, right, or the CTA, like you, the, the CTA, you know what I mean? So basically, they're the Chicago Transit Authority. If you buy a pass, let's say I buy a seven-day pass or a 30-day pass or a 60-day pass, I can just take unlimited rides on the subway and the buses, like, for the next 60 days. Now, they are kind of expensive. Like, they might be, like, $300 for, like, a month or something like that. But it's worth it because you don't have to worry about it. I think it's actually $300, I think, for for two or three months or something like that. But it's, like I said, it's worth it. Like you, if you're traveling, you do not have to worry about constantly filling up your bus card and da da da. And that's another thing too. I wanna see how they do that, that whole spiel out here. That's interesting. If you're in zone C, there are also local tariffs, but they're not valid in Berlin. This also applies to Potsdam, which has its own ABC system. So uh. do double check to make sure that you are buying the right ticket for your journey. There are a lot of different types of ticket, so here are the most important ones for visitors. Oops, hold on. I think there's something I did for you. Oh. Oh, okay, okay, cool, cool, I got it, I got it, yeah. The short journey ticket, the single ticket, the four journey ticket, 
the day ticket, the group day ticket, the seven day. Ah, we were just talking about that. The short journey ticket, the single ticket, the four journey ticket, the four journey ticket. I don't understand what that's for. The day ticket makes sense. The group day ticket also makes sense. Klein group in Tag's Carta. So small group day ticket and seven day ticket. Sieben Tage Carta. Day ticket, the welcome card and the city tour card. The welcome card and the city. You know, I hope he explains these because I don't. The know. short journey ticket is valid for one journey of up to six bus or tram stops or three S or U bahn stops. What? Why would you even get something like that, bro? <laughs> Like I wouldn't even waste my time getting anything like that because you never know how many like places you have to go in a day. Like I wouldn't even waste my time. I would get like the longest thing that they have and rather short sell myself than like not have enough. You know what I mean? No interruptions or transfers are allowed. The single ticket is valid for one journey lasting up to two hours. Transfers and interruptions up to two hours you guys time your trips oh that's something different yo we don't time the trips the trips aren't timed at all it's literally like what we do is we go off of just the bus like that's it like it's super simple so bus the bus fee well at least when i was riding the bus back in the day um i think it was like was it like a dollar and 65 to ride the okay so here's how it works your first um your first like the okay how do i explain this so between the bus and the trains right they both all operate under one pay system so your first ride right when you hop on the train slash bus system for the first ride of the day it's like a dollar 25. um the second time you hop on the bus or train it's 50 cents the third time in that day you hop on the bus or train, it's 25 cents and then it resets for your third, um, for the for the fourth thing. So it's like, you know, $2 or it's, it's like a dollar twenty-five, da da da, then 50 cents, then, you know, 25. So if that makes sense, it's, it's a different system, completely different, but I guess here it is also very different when it comes to the train ticket, um, you know, distribution. It's very interesting are allowed but not round trips oh. you're not supposed to visit or go through the same stop or station a second time I the four that. journey ticket is quite simply four singles or four short journeys it's just a little bit cheaper than four individual tickets the day ticket is valid for any number of journeys up to 3 a.m the following day that's super dope that's dope that's what i need Tagus Carter, like that's what I, bro. Br if I'm using any transportation ticket at all, I like rip the bandaid off and I want to get a day pass at least because I do not know how often I'm going to be traveling. And if it's a new area, I will be traveling everywhere, no matter how dangerous, how nice, da da. Like I'll be traveling everywhere just because, like you know, I don't want to have to spend like random amounts of money all, all, like, from different bus cards and blah, blah, blah. I would rather have one car that gets me through the entire day and I don't have to worry about it. Like that's huge. The group day ticket is the same, but valid for up to five people. The seven day ticket is valid until midnight on the seventh day. Mm. Welcome cards and city tour cards are available for 48 hours, 72 hours, four days and five days. Mm. There is also a welcome card for six days and a 72 hour welcome card that includes entry to all the museums on Museum Island. What? Hey, we're going to have to cop that one. Hey, okay, so that we, we need a welcome card. That's what we need. We need a motherfucking welcome card, bruh. Yo, we need a welcome card in this motherfucker. That's crazy, yo. The welcome card comes with coupons for discounts at 200 shops and restaurants, a tour Woo! guide, and a city map. Hey, that's what we, we need that. We need that. Like that welcome card, that's, that's something we do not have, okay? Like we don't have anything like that. We need a welcome card. Willkommen! Like, yes, let's do it. The tour card comes with discounts at certain tourist attractions uh. and the map. If you have a ticket for two zones and you want to visit the third zone, you can buy an extension ticket. This is valid for up to two hours for one journey to your destination. So when you come... Anschluss Fahrschein. I don't think I would get that. Anschluss, Anschluss Fahrschein. 
back, True. you have to buy a new extension ticket. Short journey single and day tickets are available from bus drivers and from vending machines on board trams, and they are then automatically valid for immediate travel. However, vending machines on trams only accept coins, and bus drivers may not always be able to make coins. change. Coins? Coins, my guy? Coins? Oh, brother, that's... Oh, man, I do not like carrying cash. And that's something that I have to get used to in Germany. Like, y'all carry shmoney on y'all. You know what I'm saying? You guys carry cash, coins, all that good stuff. Like, damn, dog. <laughs> oh, man, that's going to be so annoying. But it's cool because... Obviously, I'm gonna, I'm gonna love traveling around and seeing all these cool things. I just I feel vulnerable when I have money on me. You know what I mean? Like, does that does anybody else can anybody else relate to that? Like, I don't know. Maybe it's just from where I grew up. Having money on you, I just feel like makes you feel like feel like a target. Like it's like there's a big bright red target painted on your back when you have money in your pocket. Now, if you have like your cards on you, that's something different. You can always cancel your cards, but you can't cancel money. Like money is money and it retains its value. You know what I mean? So I don't know. I feel like I just feel very exposed when I have money on me. Like, mm. uh, so if you ever ask me for change or whatever, I'll never have it because I never carry cash. But in Germany, it's, it's got to be different, I guess. Like people got to carry cash and stuff on them. Like, I wish, you know, Germany went digital, man. Just take the plunge. Go digital, yo. Yeah, yeah. Go digital. <laughs> and yes, it's cash only. Damn. You can buy all of these tickets from vending machines at stations. They look like this on the U-Bahn. Oh, these look decent. These look better than the ones in Chicago, but worse than the ones in Korea. So it's like a nice little safe middle ground. That's tough. It's clean. The train, the train stations look really clean, too. I like how, like... Other countries keep their train stations like immaculate. In America, we got the garbage, dookie slanging train stations like everywhere. It's, <laughs> and like this on the S bahn, these, nice these will are. accept debit cards, but not credit cards. Oh, it's an Englishman ting, in it, in it, bruv, in it, bruv. You got the UK in this thing, in it, bruv. I wonder if the ticket booth comes with a bottle of water. <laughs> These tickets, though, must be validated before you can actually use them. And this is where tourists very often get caught out. Your ticket will have a blank space and an arrow showing you how to insert it into the validation machine, which looks like this. Oh, you guys' tickets look like receipts, bro. You don't have the, like, the hard plastic tickets and stuff? Oh, damn. I hope the day pass don't look like that. <laughs> Damn. Okay, that's different. That that's another thing that's a little different. Okay, I didn't I did not know that. That's that's interesting. It's on the S bahn. Y'all got the ticket from like the Polar Express kind of vibe. Y'all got the 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 retro tickets is what I like to call them. Oh, that is a day ticket, isn't it? Damn, bruh. I don't know. I feel like if you get this ticket wet or like I feel like it's easier for the ticket to weather, you know with this kind of material. But I also feel like, you know, you use plastic tickets, yo. Plastic. I know somebody about to say, but James, the environment, but James, the math, the environment, bro. Okay, I'm, I'm kidding. <laughs> but plastic is better though. Like, I feel like it's just, it. you don't have to go and keep, you know, buying a new pass and stuff like that because of the weathering and blah, blah, blah. I don't know, you know what I mean? Like it's. Uh, also, too, we have a lot of scan, um, uh, scanning things for the passes. I'll have to see if I have. Oh, no, I don't. It's been years. I don't think I have my old Chicago bus pass, but I do have a Korea bus pass, and it's downstairs. So I was going to show you guys, but that's going to be for another time. And like this on the U-Bahn and oh, on buses either. and trams. You'll find these things on or near station platforms, mm. on trams near the doors, and on buses just behind the driver's seat. Mm. This is important. If you don't stamp your ticket, it is not valid. Oh, but shit. you do only need to stamp it once, unless, of course, it's a four-journey ticket. Mm. Alternatively, you can download the BVG Travel app. Thank God, that's exactly what I was just asking about.
earlier. I knew y'all had it. There's no way in this world y'all have a whole city with no travel application because I know it's a very frequented area. A lot of tourists visit. So you guys had to have had an app of some sort. And this is it. And I'm glad y'all have it, man and buy your tickets that way. Yep. Day tickets, seven day tickets, welcome cards. Oh shit, but this, I'm not sure if this it also plans your trips too. Um, if you enter in like your starting def, de, starting destination and your final destination. I'm not sure if it does the same thing. Y'all can let me know and he's probably about to let me know too. And city tour cards can be bought up to 30 days in advance. All other tickets are valid for almost immediate travel. I say almost immediate. Not many people realize this, but in fact, it's not valid for the first two minutes after purchase. Oh, what the heck? <laughs> That's weird. That's weird. What the? What? <laughs> Why? This is to prevent people from boarding without a ticket and then buying one as soon as an inspector appears. Oh. You can also obviously buy tickets at ticket offices, which you'll find at certain stations. If you have already bought a welcome card or a city tour card, simply show it to the staff there in order to pick up your coupons and city guide. If nice. you are caught without a valid ticket, you'll be asked to show ID, which... Uh-oh. 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 Oh, if you're not from Germany, really <laughs> you get caught without that damn ticket, bro. They're going to crucify you. You know what I'm saying? That's crazy. A passport or a German identity card. You will also be charged a so-called enhanced fare, which mm. is currently 60 euros. 60 euros, bro! Damn, you better not hop on that train without no ticket, bro. They did they, they are all about their money my guy they're about their money they are about their money 60 euro bro god damn oh lord my bank account started shaking a little bit oh oh shit that's a lot of my fucking money bro oh oh i would try to make is there anything else i ain't got no money I could do something strange for a little bit of change, you feel me? <laughs> Unfortunately, there have been reports in the media of ticket inspectors who are not as honest as they should be, and tourists are an obvious target for them. So ich kann Deutsch sprechen. <laughs> Make sure you understand what is supposed to happen. You can pay the 60 euros immediately in cash. If you do, you must be issued a receipt, which includes a case number and other details. Oh. Also, it functions as a single ticket to allow you to complete your journey. Mm. If you don't pay immediately, you'll be issued with a bill for 60 euros and instructions on how to pay it. Ooh, shit. Ooh, fuck. <laughs> don't mess with the uh the 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 two you know what i'm saying don't mess with the with the, the with the whole bus transportation system anyway like you know what i mean like just pay what you need to pay don't try to finesse that shiznit i'm saying this specifically to all my american homies i think they can get away with this bro they haven't been to germany yet don't don't do it bro it's not worth it g yeah I mean, they will get their money's worth out of you man one way or the other my guy <laughs> Obviously, if you want to continue your journey, you will then have to buy a new ticket. Mm -hmm. Don't be pressured into paying cash, but if you do pay immediately, make sure you get that receipt. If you're flying into Berlin, you'll obviously need to get from the airport into town. The brand new Berlin Brandenburg Airport, if it ever opens, will have its own S-Bahn station right under the terminal. Oh, that's dope. Until then, Berlin that's has... That's actually what uh, Sh uh, Chicago O'Hare Airport, it has its own train, well, it has uh, the Blue Line train underneath, like in on the basement level of the airport. So that's super dope. Like if you arrive in Chicago O'Hare Airport, like, so I, since I lived in Chicago, like I would arrive in Chicago from wherever, and then I would go down to the the train station level. I would take the blue line train to my house. Oh, <laughs> like literally, it was super crazy. Man, I missed that, man. That's when life was convenient, bro. Now it's not, man, it's crazy. Two airports, Schoenefeld and Tegel. 
neither of which was built for the amount of traffic that they're currently seeing. Oh my God. Schoenefeld Airport is in Zone C, which is important because it means that if you have an AB ticket, you will need an additional extension ticket to get to or from the airport. There are buses from the main entrance at Terminal A, and this might be an option if your destination is in the borough of Neukölln. The X7 shuttles between the airport and Rudo U-Bahn station, which is the terminus of the U7, and bus 170. I heard Neukölln is like the best, is the best place in Berlin, bro. I heard that that place is fire, dog. Like that's like the number one place you gotta go, man. If you're in Berlin, you gotta you gotta slide through Neukölln real quick. I heard that that's like where all the tourists be going and stuff. Y'all let me know in the comments down below what part of Berlin is the best. One travels the whole length of Neukölln from south to north. Mm. Most people will want the trains. Just go down this walkway to the station and follow the markings to the S-Bahn or for a slightly faster but less frequent service, the RE and RB trains. And by the way, this crowd of people is where the ticket machines and ticket office are. Oh, Tegel cringe. That's a lot of people. I, oh, I hate that. The lines, man. Ah. Oh. Ah, oh, oh well. Is closer to central Berlin and is in zone B. A planned U-Bahn line was never actually built and so- Hey, but I will say this. You guys' train set setup is super clean. Super clean. I like how like well kept it is. It looks very, very, very nice. Very nice. There are only buses. The bus stops are by the entrance to terminals A and B. The TXL is an express bus that will take you to the central station and central Berlin. The 128 is convenient for northern districts. The X9 will take you to the zoo, which is the focal point of what used to be West Berlin. Mm. And the 109 will also take you there via Schloss Charlottenburg and the Kudam. If you arrive by coach, the central coach station is in fact some way out to the west. Next, Taking a coach bus makes me feel like I'm bougie. I feel like an athlete when I take a coach bus because normally like athletes get shuttled from place to place. I mean, they fly from place to place too, but they'll get sh shuttled from state to state here in America and stuff like that. So I'm like, ooh, I feel special. Like to the trade fair. It's within easy walking distance of Kaiser Dam U-Bahn station for services into central Berlin. Hmm and Messer Nord S-Bahn station, which is on the S-Bahn ring. Oh, this is very well put together. Oh, look at this. Man, look, <laughs> with buildings like these, who needs, you know, adult entertainment? You could just look at these buildings and go like. <laughs> Public transport in Berlin is extensive and a very efficient way of getting from one place to another. I believe it. But be very certain that you have a valid ticket before you travel. Thank you so much, sir. You are very helpful. Rue Boss is absolute legend. He's an absolute legend. Legendary guy. Um, what he said is, I'm pretty sure it seemed pretty accurate. You guys let me know in the comments down below if there's anything else I need to know in addition to that. Um, a lot of similarities, definitely a lot of differences from what I've seen uh, with the transportation systems I've been on. Um, and that's cool. It's totally fine. I definitely vibe with this and I'm looking forward to making it out there. The Deutschland finally. Oh my God, guys. I made so many German videos. You would have thought I would have been in Germany by now. I get messaged all the time like, James, you in Germany yet? James, you in Germany yet? Damn, you not in Germany yet? James, you ain't in Germany yet? What's wrong with you? Like, I understand. I'm trying to make my way out there, but it's going to take some time. Love you guys. And as always, take care. Bis später, Leute. Ich liebe euch. Ciao. Well, 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 what a pleasure it is to see all of your beautiful faces at the end of this lovely video. Subscribe if you haven't already. I'm sure you know, as I've mentioned in the past, we do have a Discord that's linked in the description down below, and we would love to have you a part of the world's greatest community ever. Bray Gang. Yes, if you've made it to this point in the video, you're officially a part of the community. So go ahead, join the Discord server. Link is in the description down below. And we also have other social media as well, like Instagram, Twitter, we're live. We, we go live on Twitch quite, quite often as well. So I, it would behoove you to, you know, go ahead and subscribe to the Twitch channel at twitch.tv slash James Bragging. Join the cause and be a part of the greatest, literally the greatest community ever. Okay, it's simple. Just go ahead and do those little things. We're trying to grow on all these little platforms and everything, and it really means a lot. Now,
Now I know you guys stumbled up across the channel and you're like, what does this guy post? Like what kind of content does he post? Reactions, vlogs, pretty much whatever comes to my mind. All right, it's random content. I don't know what I'm gonna be posting 10 years from now, but I do know that you can stick along for the journey and it really means a lot. Now for every single person that subscribes and follows, all of the accounts that I have made and the, all the links will be in the description down below, that's an automatic entry for any future giveaways I decide to have. I'll remind you when the giveaways take place, but you'll be surprised what I will be giving away because you guys have supported me so much up to this point and it's only right that I do the same thing back. Thank you guys so much for being amazing and I will see you in the next video. Take care, peace.